Hello, I am the Boule Luchu, and today I've made a run through of how to be Black Tower. It's a beginner's guide, not a complete beginner. I expect that you at least know how to move about in the game. But basically, what I've done is I put together on how to beat it. Now, I'm not perfect at it, I'm not the best at it, but I remember where I have problems and how I've solved them. So, what I've done is on the screen, I've actually put a keyboard on the bottom left so as you can see what I'm pressing and I do a run through. There are times when I mess up, but like all of us, we just need practice. You're not gonna do it first time, even with this, but it's gonna help, okay? So good luck, enjoy the video. If you like it, please hit the subscribe, thumbs up, and maybe, maybe, Use code TBL in the shop when you're buying your KR. Okay? Have fun, and I hope you complete it. Hey, okay. So, let's get into this. First thing we need to do, obviously, is get to the start. When we get to the start, you've got this bouncy pad, that thing there. Go on it, and up you go. Right, okay. This is just jumpy, jumpy, moving forward. Okay, up we go. Jumpy, jumpy again. Look at my keyboard. You'll see how I'm doing it. I press backwards when I do this. Okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy. For this one, look, I'm turning to the angle I want to go at. You see that? Not a problem. Exactly the same this time. Just make sure it's bigger jumps. Just make sure you hold the space down, the forward down. Really easy. Okay, this looks scary, doesn't it? But it's not. Just jump to the side. There we go. Okay, this one, again, just forward jumps. Hold your, your forward down, your W key. Right, up we go again. Exactly the same. With this one, I let go of the W when I've got forward momentum. Just check my keyboard. Jumpy jumps are easy. These ones, they look difficult. Just set where you're going and then jump. Don't worry if you fall. Just keep practicing. You'll do it. Exactly the same with this. Forward and space. Forward and space. Just make sure you've got some momentum going forward. So leave yourself a little gap to go forward. A little bit harder this time. Because now we've got to go around an object. So I hold shift down so as I don't move as far. Go to the corner, give myself some space, and I jump around the object. You might see I'll hold down a direction key as well, just to bring it in at the end. Okay, across we go. When you get better at this, you can skip some of them. But for now, all we are doing is trying to get past this. For this one, you have to push into the wall. I used against the wall and forward for that one. Wall jumps. Brr, we hate wall jumps. You hit it and away. Watch my keyboard. You see how I hit it and then come away. You must hit the wall. Exactly the same theory for this as well. Look, it's exactly the same. It's really actually easy when you know how. Watch the keyboard. This one is hard for me, so I do the cheating method. Okay. And for this, what I do is I do the side jump. Okay. Watch. I hold shift and I go down the side, going dead straight until I can go no further. This is an important part. Look at my keyboard as I jump. I do forward back and left forward back and left this is really important because you use it a lot when doing this jump on nice normal jump jump on forward back and left it really that back and left makes such a difference for the game this one's just an easy jump look it looks scary but if you just jump straight just point where you want to go forward and jump forward and jump for this one jump on it hit shift as you land up 
and then you do space and jump and the direction you're going in. It's normal one. Again, this is just a jumpy jumpy, land on it. Give yourself a little bit of a platform to run. You need some more forward momentum, okay? If you land at the front, hold shift and come back. Okay, give yourself a little bit of a platform. And there you go, easy. Those ones are easy to do, okay? Exactly the same with this one, just forward and jump. Direction, forward and jump. Direction, forward and jump. Easy, eh? You never thought black toe would be so easy. Do not land on the top of this. It will go at you. Just jump to the sides. It's just direction, forward and jump. This one's a bit harder. I think I fall on this one. Yes, there we go. So this isn't as hard as what I just made that look. Again, it's a forward and jump. Hold the shift key down and slowly take an angle to go on it. Now this bit is important. You need to be able to go where you're facing to be able to go onto the next one. If you have no momentum, you won't make the jump. See how I land on them? It's just an all forward and jump. Exactly the same for this. If you land on those things, they throw you down. You need to try and make that as a momentum jump, not as a slow jump. This one, here we go. Direction, jump. Now this is back and side again. That back and side comes in very handy for a lot, a lot of the jumps. This one's easier than you think. Jump up, look where you're going, forward and jump. Look where you're going, direction of where you want to go, forward and jump. Direction of where you want to go, forward and jump. Always, most parkour is forward and jump. Okay, this one's not so easy. This is one of the hardest things in the game. Is jumping on and doing a wall jump. You have to look at the keys as this. When you do this, what will happen is you have to go, if you're jumping forward, you hit space and backwards. And I fell, ooh, didn't mean to fall. That's actually easy than what I was doing. But watch, forward, I hit the left key, and then I go back and forward, back and forward, and you do the opposites. And you fluff up just like that. So remember, when you do this, when you jump in, hold the left key to slow yourself down and then forward and back. You do opposite to the way you're going. Now it's just a wall jump. Into it, hit away, hit away. Again, I recommend that you just use the, uh, watch the keyboard to do it. This one is simpler than you think. I think I fluffed this one as well. Not sure. You jump into them, and like you've done before, hold shift to go around. Now you need the run up. Remember that, guys. That's important. Jump into them, and they'll stop your momentum. This one, I think I fluff. Oh, no. Wall jump. Wall jump. Wall jump. There we go. We fluff it. Watch my keyboard again. It is, as you hit it, you go away. Now, with this one, you'll have to take the W off so as you slow yourself down. Because if you keep pressing W, you'll jump too far. So you press W every two or three jumps. Okay? Watch the keyboard. Follow the arrow. Look. And then I normally jump like that. Okay? This is the way I tend to do it. And I, I mess up. You can see that. Okay? Doing the big jumps. I don't tend to do the little ones. I like the big ones. It's easier for me. Everyone's different. Watch. Hopefully we'll get it this time. And now I flip it up again. One day I'm going to complete this without messing up. But, and it might be another fluff. No, perfect. Okay, if you watch the keys, you'll see what you're doing. This one is easy. Look where you're going, jump. Look where you're going, jump. Again, it's just look where you go, forward and jump. Just make sure you've got some momentum when you're jumping. So make sure there's something in front of you. This one is not easy. You must push against it. Look at my keys. Look how I messed up. What you have to do is you need to jump into it. And then thought you need to kind of come out. And then you jump out and around. Look at the key. You see, it goes WD. And then back in. That took me ages. But you can see my keys. 
while I'm a keybind. This took me forever to learn. Look at your feet whilst you're doing this and it will be easier. Okay? Look at your feet. Look at my keys. You'll see how to do it. Another jumpy jumpy. Just pull back. Okay? It's just a jumpy jumpy, even if they're smaller. When you land, see I hit the S when I'm landing to stop the forward momentum. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Again, another jumpy jumpy. With this one you'll see I take my finger off the W1 and midair. Try and always jump at an angle, not straight on. You'll have more space to land. I think I fluffed this one, but this again is just the forward, and as you're landing, it's the back and to the side. Okay? Forward, there we go, I messed that up. Okay? What you do with these to go around them is you put an angle on it. There you go, you jump out and then you pull back and in. Again, look at my keyboard and you'll see. It makes it so much easier. This one is just using your momentum, forward, forward, forward. See how flush that? That's because I wasn't holding the W key down. Watch my W key and you will see. Hold it, hold it, hold it, done. Easy. You can do this. This one is harder for people. It's exactly the same. Now, now shift to the edge. Shift right to the edge. You're going to jump out and then you're going to pull back. To the edge. Out and pull back. I know. It seems really easy and it won't be when you first do it. But you will be able to do that. I can't do these slow. You have to turn whilst you're doing this to hit these slow. I only ever do these fast. So you're going to see me do it in a minute fast, hopefully. See, I can't do them slow. I'm going to fluff up a few times here, guys. That's why I'm not on the top board. I was happy now to do it first time. Okay? But this is a learning. Look what I'm doing. Look at my key binds. Okay? I fluff up a lot on this one, which is frustrating, because I can normally do this first time. You aim for the bottom left corner of the first one, and you jump. What you do then is you spring away. You go space and A. And then when you hit the next one, space and D. Make sure you're looking where you want to go as well. You'll see I move slightly, but not too much. And I keep missing it. You have to hit the wall when you hit the space. Again, just pause it and look at my keys. I'm trying to do the little ones there to show you, but I can't. Yeah, here we go. Right, hit that corner, hit that corner, and then I fluff it again. <laughs> this is actually one of the worst ones I've done. So, here we go. Across, across, over. That's how I always do it. Now, I'm going to show you what they, they do, like a speed run where they do that. And I fluffed it. I was going to show you the speed run attempt. I'm still learning that, but I can do it. This is the normal way to do it. Get in the corner. Shift down. Look at an angle. Jump forward, then back and sideways again. Back and sideways again. Look at my keys. Forward, back and sideways. Get in that corner. Turn around. Forward, back and sideways. Now I do a cheeky jump here. Look down and to the left. And then it's the big jump. It's WD jump. Now it'll get you across, and WD jump. You see that? Whilst looking down and away. Okay? That will do your big jump. Here we go. This one will show you. You see how I'm just doing w, A and D, and every now and again I'm pressing W. Because if you hold W down, you're going to hit those sidewalls. Watch the keyboard on that one. This one's easy. Forward, let go. Forward. Done. Look at that. This one's just a jumpy jumpy, guys. It looks a bit worse, but it's not. It's just a simple jumpy jumpy, where are you aiming? This one I fluffed the start up a few times. I'm like that. Brr, have they moved this? Come on, guys. Have you actually moved this? Have you changed the game? Because I can do this, jump to that first time every time. But I was getting a bit excited about this, guys. So what you need to do is you need to get the right dangle. 
Okay, so when you start, when you line this up, don't jump for the first one. You're just making extra effort. I think I've left this up again. Right, now I realize maybe I'm at the wrong angle. So what I do is I change my angle and I land again. Look where you are. Look at my keys. You go across the edge. Forward, left, and then back as you land. Forward, right, and then back as you land. And then just jump off. Exactly the same idea for this. Get yourself a bit of space. Jump. Get yourself a bit of space. Jump. Okay, you can see my keys. Forward, jump. Line yourself up. Go. Take your time when you're doing it. These are really hard. Look, watch. Off I slide. These took ages. And then Aerostatic taught me how to do these. See how I slide off the back? If you look at my keys, I hold the W and the B key, or if I hold the B key, you move. There is a technique which the good guys do where they just look at it. There you go. But when I go to jump, I miss it. So I can't do that way. The way I'm going to teach you is here. Into the wall, W forward. W forward. I don't make it right. So what you need to do is watch. You'll see this. Jump into the wall. Now, momentum. And now, when you want to do the big jump, let go of the, the A and just W. It gives you more forward momentum. This is, you've done this already, just smaller. Make sure you line up so you get some movement. If you don't get any movement when you're jumping, you're not going to make the distance. Now, I do smaller jumps than this to this next one. You can go straight ahead, but I don't. Okay. Now I might slide off in this, I don't remember. Normally I'd go to that left one, but you can go to the right one. Just make sure you get a bit of momentum. And there we go. I didn't slide. Easier. Okay, this one seems like it's quite hard, but it's easy. Get across to the side, get your direction, and jump. Across to the side, direction, and jump. If you don't get across to the side, you'll hit the side, and then you fall. Now, when someone taught me this one, hold shift. Watch this. If you hold forward, left and right, left and right, left and right, it'll actually take you up the ladder. You don't even need to do that. Just press forward. Make sure you jump into the ladder. Press forward. and Make sure you're aiming at the black dot. So it's one of the easiest levels at the lot. This one is one of the hardest levels. You see, you'll see how far the glass goes out. But it's exactly the same as normal. Jump out. See, I don't make it. You need to be brave. Jump out, pull back, and sideways. You need to jump out, pull back, and sideways. Look at my key binds. Okay. This one will make you nervous. It's the last one, and you'll hit it a few times. Don't worry. It's no different than the first jump. See, I fluffed up. And this one I find quite easy. It is. You need to jump out further than what you're used to, and then you pull back. So S and A. Just watch my key binds. Get in the corner. Shift into the corner. Uh, see, I don't make it every time. You've got to jump out. You will do it, though. Out and again, you see? Out and in. Again, across. Out and in. Look, done it. You can do that. No problems. This is my nemesis. Again, it's like this. What I actually tend to do is I, ju I just keep jumping because... I find it hard to stay still. But if you look, and I fluff. I've, it, this one took me, the first time I ever done it, took me like 30 minutes to complete just that one level. Again, it's the W and D and then jump. Or A and D and jump. A and W and jump. Keep going. This bit. Look. See, I look at my feet and I'm just pressing W. Now what I need to do is jump to the side and press A and then jump forward. You will get there. That one was really hard for me. That takes a lot of practice, guys. But you've got my key binds, you can see. Okay, now I've completed it. I'm going to show you the, the secret level. And I missed. Okay, die again. Right. So this is the secret space. Okay, I'm just going to show you it so you can show off to your friends. You've got to hit that red dot. You hit that red dot. Oh, look at that. That is, oh my gosh. And now somewhere in here, 
There's a special room. Here we go. Okay, there you go. Well, you found it. The prize has already been claimed, though. Well done, though. You've got the special room. Okay, let's go and kill ourselves. Or commit scooter ankle, should we say. Now, on the wall on the right is some of the people who have done it without dying. Okay, congrats to you guys. You're amazing. Proper amazing. One day, though, with this practice, you might do it. I can get to about level 36 before I die. I'm going to get there. And then, of course, we have the streamer, Hey, I'm Zed. Monster. That is so good that he completed it. Look at that picture. He's so happy. And we got Ted's there as well. Got to level 44. Got it for him. He didn't make it all the way. But 44 is amazing. Hey, you guys. So, I know it's a quick run through. But if you follow my keybinds on the bottom left, and follow what I say, hopefully, in the not too far future, you'll be able to complete this. My record's 10 minutes and 7 seconds. I want to get sub 10 minutes, and I'll, I've got to level 36, I think, without dying. Best of luck. Um, it, you can always come see me at twitch.tv forward slash the Boule Luchu. And hopefully, we'll get you completing Black Tower and other, other ones. Okay, other parkour courses. Have fun.